Right, um, we've been having that sort out um, in the house and I've got two big boxes of um, stuff to go to the charity shop and we have got a TV stand, it's a bit dark here, let me just switch the light on. We are getting rid of this TV stand and TV and another case. This has now been emptied and um, filing done. Uh, mostly my son's paperwork and stuff when he was originally at college. That is what we're going to use, um, I think, for our granddaughters, because they've got wheels as well, for our granddaughter's toys. And um, this is the rubbish. We have gone mad. Um, one, two, three four five five and a half sacks and we still could get rid of more we it, we've just made a consecutive decision just to sort out although i was pretty organized we are a bit in a mess in the dining room at the moment um but as you can see we are getting there and this is the only piece of mess i have got round the house we have got some more boxes just up there um, for more stuff to go. That is clean laundry there. That is stuff that belongs to hubby, which has to say yay or nay whether we're going to get rid of. So we're off now to the charity shop. I've got to go and pick up prescription. We may be going to the tip. I'm not sure. If not, that will be over the weekend. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and I was going to um, vlog yesterday. Um, my son was off work so we sorted his room out. We've changed the furniture round because this weekend, or should I say tomorrow, we are going to order his bed, his mattress and look at curtains and bed and everything. Now when I say we, he's the one that's purchasing it. Um, He's um, been saving up to do bits and pieces and it's mostly been con um, concentrating on his career at the moment. So now he's managed to save some money um, and he still lives with us. We have got two sons. Our eldest um, has got a baby and got married. Our youngest one is still at home, which we don't mind. It has been such... Well, both my sons have been lovely and my youngest has been very supportive as well so um we spent the whole day sorting his room out if i'd filmed it which probably i could have done i think it would just have hold it up the whole process um i did show you um a mess in my dining room and we've literally had amazing blitz now i do this twice a year if anything comes into the home i normally get rid out of the equivalent or the same sort of item but this year um, I've gone that step further especially the last couple of days just literally we've basically especially clothing trying to get rid of 25% of our clothing anything that's not warm we're getting rid of anything that doesn't fit we get rid of I do allow um, just a small box for each member because there's three adults in the house at the moment um, of maybe one or two um, items if they can go in that box if they may be um, a question mark on or don't quite fit um, we all are trying to get healthy um, and exercise I know it's getting harder wrong time of year Christmas coming up but why wait to the new year I have tried because of health reasons for myself I did go through a bad stage through September and October um, where I had real problems with my knee. I did have um, injections um, in my knee. It has been better, although I don't know whether it's because I have been on my feet, you know, quite a bit just recently and doing different things. Um, it is feeling uncomfortable. It could be the injections have now worn off, but I was so happy because it got me through my son's wedding. Well, um, I'm really cosy. And I will be doing um, little mini videos, as I said, about organising for the Christmas season and for winter. 
and I will um, stay on these videos. It's not just for Christmas. Organising, decluttering, crafting, caravanning, family, friends, all this is very important to me. But I do love organising. Um, I do tweak my systems, but a lot of my systems now, they do work. Um, so it's just a matter now of getting rid of that last purge before the new year. And then I will stipulate what you should be expecting in on my channel for next year. I have got um, some notes down about that and that will be at a later date. I will be doing um, 25 days of Christmas starting from the 1st of December. My process of my Christmas decorations, my Christmas tree, which I do have to allow half a day to do. It is a seven foot tree and I'll go into more details when that goes up. The rule in our home is the majority of our Christmas decorations does not, well, it does not come out the loft until the 1st of December and you will probably sh be shocked at the boxes. It has been reduced and um, we never actually put our main tree up before the 1st of December. I know a lot of people have and I have been commenting and I've been watching your videos and some amazing decorating being done for Christmas. But unfortunately, we have to wait till the 1st of December. It is a rule in our home, as I say. And let's face it, bits and pieces have started coming up. And I'm going to scoot around. Do excuse some of the clothing here. This is the next batch being sorted out. I'm afraid it's a little bit dark. Um, and I put Christmas bedding on. I love this design. I actually got this after, I think it was two Christmases ago. I don't think it was last Christmas. This is what I do, especially um, Christmas stuff. Now, this is like the um, vintage look and maybe a little bit girly, I must admit. But hubby doesn't mind it. And he did come home yesterday after work. And in between doing um, everything else, laundry and sorting my son's room out because he had a day off work yesterday, I did actually wash my bed in. And I'm really getting into the Christmas spirit and mood. And I just wanted to put some Christmas bed in. I have got my faithful owl that hubby bought me for Valentine's Day on there. And we have been sorting out again for the season. I've got blankets. Um, depending on, we've had some really... Um, cold weather just recently and bad frosts so because sometimes um if i'm relaxing my um knee or i'm reading sometimes i don't actually obviously get in bed i just like to pull a blanket over but i love this design it was from asta homeware i bought it after christmas and it was five pounds now some people might think hang on a minute how does she know the prices it's because as I said before, it goes in my book, anything that I've bought after the season, whether it's Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, Halloween, anything. That's how I replenish my stock. And I put down what the item is, um, where I got it from and the price. So I know this was £5. I think it was originally 15 and I got it for £5 after that Christmas. I have got a couple of different um, duvet covers. The pile over here is um, being sorted out and hubby hopefully will be um, sorting his work clothes out today. And yes, I actually wore my owl onesie last night. I say it was cool. At first I thought I was coming down with a chill or something, but um, after my bath, I put my owl onesie on and I believe if I remember rightly, I think Hubby bought me this, was it Primark? I'm not 100% sure. There's the tag, Love to Lounge. I am pretty sure it was actually from Primark. Now, I'm hoping to do some vlogging today. Um, we are going to the lockup for our caravan because we are going to um, sort it out for the winter. And we need to go and collect the um, battery out of the caravan and also... I want to vacuum pack um, the bedding, the cushions and everything. 
um, we have brought luckily back uh, my son's double um, quilt from the caravan because we needed it with having visitors for the wedding and now he's going to be buying a double bed. So I'll quickly give you um, a look at my son's bedroom. It is not finished by a long shot, um, but the amount of stuff, as you could see, by the sacks and the stuff we were taking to the charity shop, we got rid of a lot, plus round our home. This is um, our son's bedroom. He's at work at this, this morning, so, um, we're doing a bit of running about ourselves, getting some um, errands um, completed and hopefully a bit more sorting out. Um, I will be doing a full room tour once I've finished. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick look of his room. The reason we moved it around is so we can fit a double bed in which has been waiting for for so long. It's just, when my eldest son moved out years ago, um, my youngest had the choice of staying in this room or moving into the next room. And he decided to stay in here. And then we re it out. And then because he, ha he did shut up over the years, he is six foot four, so he needed a, a bigger bed basically so he sleeps in this one then the games room stroke his lounge um he's got area so he can um have his independence if he wishes again it is very dark so i'm not going to dwell too much on the games room and his lounge because it is dark in here. I have got a video on this in here. Um, he has got his TV, which unfortunately you can't see very well. But you just have to look back on my um, games room tour and it was a lot lighter so I could show you. And we've got a recliner leather um, two-seater city in here. Um, he's just bought his new steering wheel over there and we've got his and my hubby's um, drones and helicopters up there. As I said, it is very dark, so I'm not going to linger in here. Um, we've got PC there, so he has got this area. On top of everything else, um, we've got this quite large mirror. This is what I bought my son years ago. Um, before I actually even had his new fitment unit, which has got a full length mirror. And I love this mirror. <laughs> actually, it goes really nice, as you can see, with um, the wardrobes and furniture. The only problem is, um, it's a question mark. We are seeing if our son and his wife would like the mirror or not. I mean, the only place in here, if we was to put it up, is up there where that picture is. But the thing is, I do love my mirror here. And it's one of the original items. I think it's been up nearly as, as long as we've had the house, about 31 years, 30 years, this mirror's been up. And I have explained this in my tour before, um, because, again, I'm sorry if it's dark, it's, it's put it on a pivot because we hadn't got a lot of room once I got all my wardrobes in and it's just worked out really well and I just don't want to get rid of it. I suppose really could have come up with an idea with the other mirror. Um, I think it's sentimental in a way and it's useful. It is a full length mirror as I say. It was a real cheapy one actually. It was only supposed to have been a temp fix and it's been there 30 years. So. I probably will give you another shot of my bedroom once I've sorted everything out and tidied up. Um, as I say, hubby's um, got his coat on and we're off to our caravan. As I said, we are changing the vehicles over. Um, hubby's just moving um, our other vehicle out of the garage and we're taking uh, Kia, who 
or shall I say her, she's called Big Red. Um, it's basically, both our vehicles do have um, tow bars on, but we bought Big Red when we were um, upgrading our caravan to a four berth. And yes, we are both wrapped up warm because it is, although there's no frost this morning, is there darling? It still feels a little bit nippy. It's cold, yeah, it's six degrees. Which is not too bad. And as I say, we're all nice and wrapped up. And um, here we go. Right, we've near enough finished now in the caravan. Um, we've been to um, Clearance Bargains this morning and um, these are actually vacuum packs. We haven't actually um, used the Hoover to actually completely vacuum pack them because um, we're not connected up to the um, electrics here in storage. So what we've done is we've just sealed them in the bags. Um, that's all the quilts, the um, pillars, and we've got the specimen from the bag and all the cushions. And we also have, because um, we've got a temp mattress in the caravan, we've also got a topper as well, which just makes it a bit more comfortable. Um, do ignore Hubby making a noise in the background. Sorry. We have actually made sure that all the um, piping is empty of water, although we did that a few weeks ago anyway, before the frosts. Um, he's took the battery out and so we're about there it does look sad actually now look at this all bare none of my knickknacks about so so we've finished emptying the caravan we've got all the the rest of the pillars that i'm taking home a lot of the time um i do replace um some of the pillars we all have um a decent pillar each mine's like a um, a foam one um, so is the guys I mean my son and my husband like firmer pillars they're usually 25 pounds each and they are worth the money and they do last but some of them are like a soft pillar and very often mine had to be replaced regularly um, we do I've got all the coffee sugar and tea canisters in um, that bag because I like to empty them and I like to wash it all out. Um, in the bottom of that box also is um, extra clothing that we normally keep in the caravan. And I've got the rest of the towels and any kitchen I like the oven gloves and tea towels in there. Um, also, there is the battery. We do take it home. We don't leave it in the caravan. And then... Um, before we use the caravan again, it goes on charge. And in that fur blanket is the TV, and we've also got the PlayStation 4. We don't leave those in the caravan. <laughs> Um, although we wasn't connected to the electrics in the storage, um, we, there is a place actually where you can use the electric point and this is where also you wash the um, caravan. So we are deciding now to vacuum the pack before we go home.
again this is um, a tip even if you haven't got a caravan or a motorhome we've used vacuum packs when we was camping caravanning in the home and that's why I wanted to point out it's a good way to store all your heavy pillars blankets etc to save on space right um we've just got back from the powerpoint and this is how it's reduced back um if you could see the before like i showed you and look how this is how it goes down if you've never used vacuum packs before i mean these actually contain uh, double quilt pillars that one contains the um topper and more pillars We've got a whole sleeping bag, extra bedding, and a blanket in that one, as you can see. And that one there has all the cushions. So, as I say, it is very um, good idea to use these vacuum packs, even if it's in the home. As long as you've got a little food left. That's in the caravan, isn't it? Yeah, we. Oh yeah. Uh, that Hoover has been got sent. That was actually Every a time... present for the caravan a couple of years ago, Every wasn't it? Every time we go away, Denise has to Hoover the caravan, the floor, to get rid of all stones and rubbish. Usually before and after, depending. Yep. So um, we're about there. We do leave the shoes there. That that's nothing. But look at the poor caravan. As I said, it is now absent of my knickknacks and bits and pieces. And this will be it now until um, March. Um, can't we, wait. Yeah, we can't wait. <laughs> and so um, we're about now to leave the caravan. And hopefully that is it. We can get home. Yeah, we're just leaving the lock up. It has been freezing up here. Um, it is quite open and it's nice to be back in the car. Um, and a sad feeling, but... We have now got to say bye-bye to the caravan until March although I would say that we do actually visit the caravan um, over the Christmas week um, because that is the week um, that hubby is off work and that way we can just check that it's okay um, so we do still check on the caravan um, every couple of months although it's not going to be long before we actually use it again Three for them. So, yeah, it, um, do excuse the um, window screen. Um, coming to the lock up, they're doing a lot of road works. <laughs> Is that better? A little bit, thank you. Um, and of course, with all the the um, dust and everything that they're doing, um, it soon makes a mess off the car. And to tell you the truth, the car looked pretty clean before we came, <laughs> but now it's filthy. We are now home. I've just brought the kettle and I've put my nice furry blanket there that will be going upstairs. Um, I've just put it there because uh, I think we're going to get warm. Um, I want a pile of clothes to be sorted. Um, that's the main aim. And I'm just um, pointing out that this chair actually came out of my son's room. Nothing wrong with it, it's a recliner. And um, I've put it there for the temporary. I mean, I was sitting there last night when I was on my laptop um, going through all my emails and it is actually quite comfortable. It's just that he doesn't want it back in his room. Originally, he had it as his gaming chair with his TV and stand and all his um, game consoles. But now they're in the other games room stroke lounge so he doesn't need them in his room. So I've put it there. The only thing is, I do like it in here. We have got a tiny lounge, as you can see, if I'm backing out. I am now 
in the entrance of our lounge. It's just, as I keep saying, that is where my Christmas tree goes, our family seven foot Christmas tree goes. So it can't really actually stay, although it does go with the rest because we do have black leather furniture. But yes, hubby is just connecting the PlayStation 4. It does stay in our caravan all through the season because we can play DVDs, Blu-rays and use for gaming. Um, but it's now got to be connected um, to the TV um, for, I believe, hubby said updates because obviously it's been in the caravan for a fair few months. And um, once it gets connected... Um, is it to the internet and that? Yeah. That has updates, doesn't it? And yeah, we've got to get it sorted because as Hobby can't play his birthday presents, which I would say his birthday is Christmas Eve and he is 52 plus. But we do, yeah, laugh, but we're anxious. We want to play Bandicoot, but it's surprising how long sometimes these updates um, take. And this console, because this is ours, we don't tend to, when it's home, we don't tend to put it upstairs in the games room. Um, we like it down here so we can play games, especially if our son's upstairs in his lounge. So, there's a nice shot of Puppy's legs. Are they sexy? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Nah, too old for that. Anyway, um, we're going to get on. Um, it's gone lunchtime. We need to have a snack and um, get a little bit of sorting out done. It's all go, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We thought, oh, after the wedding, we thought we have a fair few weekends, you know. Wing it, as he says. Um, take our time. But it's surprising how busy we've been. And we didn't stop last weekend. The previous weekend after the wedding wasn't too bad um we did have well i had one day and i think it was on the sunday um but other than that um it just seems to be busy although we try and pace ourselves so get have our coffees have something to eat and then hopefully get on yeah just one thing yeah hubby did change the lettering and put welcome home i thought he did a good job on that because it had, what did it have? Humans beware, didn't it, over Halloween? Yeah. I think you put in it, didn't you? So let's see what sort of updates our um, PlayStation 4 has got. <laughs> 